Okay, now I've cut up a couple of strips of this color, which is the raspberry pie, I believe it was called. And I've cut up a couple of little uh, quarter inch strips and crumpled them all up. And I put two strips in every. Sorry, I'm not I'll even be able to see that. Two strips in every one of these crystal point molds, okay? I'm going to get the dye that matches this color, and I'm going to put a barely, barely little bit of this mica powder in there. Okay, that's step one. This one is just the, uh, <laughs> the little crystal rock mold. It's the one that's got different sizes. The other one I've got is all the same size. Okay. That one I'm going to do again with a little bit of this macrofine um, mica powder, which is a little bit larger cut. And just a tiny bit of, well, a tiny bit of both of them, but of this uh, pearl mica powder. Okay, that's <laughs> this one. I'm gonna also add just a tiny bit of the macro pearl. A tiny bit of the purple mica powder. And then I'm gonna try adding the sapphire resin dye. To this okay this is just on the side I'm not sure about using it yet we're just gonna see all of that is gonna go on this trinket box uh, along with the uh, retro rocket and accessories it might sound a bit crowded, but the point is when it's done, it's going to be a little trinket dish. Um, something to throw your jewelry on, on your bedside table, next to the sink, something like that. In the olden days, I would have said on your TV console, but uh, just ignore that. Okay, so I'm going to mix up my resin and man these were hard to get stuff down in there why did that have to pop out oh that is light okay I'm going to add a bit of each. I'll go ahead and add this before I stir it up. Uh -huh. Okay, that is really pretty and sparkly. Oh my goodness, that is gorgeous. That is glorious. Okay, I'm going to add another. I'm going to shake it again. Add another squirt but I'm not gonna stir it up I'm not gonna mix it all through this time okay 
Yes, buddy, baby, I'll let you out in just a minute. I'm expecting that that cellophane will trap some air, so just be prepared for that. Oh. Yes, baby, just a minute. pouring all right gotta pause y'all gotta pause the dog doesn't wait sorry about that y'all when your dog has to go out when your giant dog has to go out you gotta let him Okay, now, let us see, okay, okay, it went into the tips, so that's not an issue, this one, everything did level out, tiny bit right there. Poke him back down. Yep. And make him stand up somewhere else. Whoa, whoa. Don't do that. Okay. Yes, dog, just a minute. Never satisfied. They're like husbands. I don't know if y'all can hear it but for 23 years we've lived on this started out dirt then gravel road and they're going to chip seal it it's it's like it's like cherubs You have no idea. Unless you've lived on a gravel road. That they maintain. Maybe every other year. And if you've ever lived on a gravel road. That they haven't maintained in two years. <laughs> oh. And did I say. 75% of the people that live around here have either horses or cows or both. Plus whatever else they have. So horse trailers. 
and everybody drives a pickup, including us. <laughs> so, there's that. I'm going to put these on my drying rack. Now, I know I do still have some sticking up of the cellophane flakes, but I don't care. I'm going to put these under my... Uh, I'm going to put these on my drying rack. If it was only UV resin, that would be nice. But um, And then I'm going to come back and I'm going to pour um, uh, the rest of the stuff we got sitting around. So... Mix just a tiny bit more resin in there. And a tiny bit more. The fuchsia. That and another square of that. All right. Okay. Then I'm gonna add. I've just got this. Is a tiny bit of that. Um, unbranded okay that's literally half of a scoop if it was level a lot of times when you use mica powder less is more glorious okay and the last thing I want to add I'm really reluctant I'm gonna add a touch a touch this is the macro pearl And it will add a little bit of like a glittery look like that the one we can't say the one that's <laughs> not in English but that's more just like a um, uh-huh Really, that's just more like a, uh, oh my gosh, an interference color. <sighs> okay, so, so sorry. I'm not even going to hesitate to not put that in there because I'm just going to wipe it up. Now, I'm not really worried about the fact that it's an oval on the bottom. Pour it in. And yes, I know I said I don't measure and I don't. But hello, was this the perfect amount or what?
And yes, there are many ways to uh, figure out how much a mold holds and all that. But to be honest, I've never even tried one. So I couldn't tell you if they work or not. Because that's, I, that's just the way I am. And because I live dangerously. <laughs> uh, if you believe that. I'm going to put, this is the sapphire, sorry, I'll show you in a second. this is the sapphire from the YRYMHT, you better be careful bully, now I just added that sapphire, <laughs> now I'm going to add, this is a really pretty purple almost a violet purple once again gonna add like a half of a scoop Just a touch of this mackerel pearl again. Yeah, exactly. Back in the living room or back in the kitchen. Oh, that's exactly what I wanted. Okay, I'm going to put just a little bit more of the mica powder. Oh, goodness. Dealing with these tiny little things of mica powder is crazy. Okay. Now. Beautiful. Okay. Okay. Now there is that filled up. Another way. Okay. And then for the rest of this, I'm gonna pour. Oh man. I really wish I had more than one of these. I really wish I had more than one of these, but I don't. So. I'm gonna pour the tiniest stream I can get away with. Okay, let's 
do this. Well, first we'll do the heart. Isn't that pretty? I'm loving the way those macro pearls really sparkle through there. That's really pretty. Okay. I'm going to do these first because I need the mold. <laughs> It's that easy. Ugh. Okay. Let's take a look at one of them. They're really pretty. Sparkly. Okay. okay. Decisions, decisions. I can't wait. I can't decide. Excuse me. I can't decide which one to do first. Loving that that iridescent flake in there. Oh, that is pretty. Hope y'all can see that. Cool. I'm loving that. Don't mean to keep saying loving that. This one doesn't have as much, weirdly enough. I mean, yes, it does. Just depends on where it's closer to the surface, I guess. something like that <laughs> then we've got these two oh, like I said we're not really worried about the fact that they're oval on the bottom help <sighs> I 
it's not really that they're that difficult to demold. It's just they don't want to come out. Okay. Once again, I'm in love with that. That Michael Pearl Sparkle. That is really pretty. Okay. There's the purple one. Now I did purple and pink because I couldn't decide which to do. in the rockets right there. Here's these little crystals. Okay. And then mm -hmm. and then the planet is going to go right there. Turned out really cute. Now I'm gonna grab one of these little bitty ones that we poured. Uh huh. I'm gonna try to hold on to it. There we go. There. Okay. Get some of the hot glue strings off. While I still got them accessible. Okay. Take another one of these. 
these little ones. And I hope y'all are still in frame. That is really cute. Okay. Then we're gonna go with the rocket. Oh, how nice. Okay, I'm just gonna put it across here. Okay. There we go. <gasps> it's cute. <laughs> okay, I'm in love with doing these. Now, I've done quite a few more than I've shown on camera. But, uh... <laughs> Alright, I'll finish getting rid of these glue strings. And then I'll come back with some stills to share with you. I'll give you a little close up so you can see the sparkle. Ignore the glue strings if you can see them. Okay. Alright, that is so cute. Alright. <laughs> I cannot get them off me. Help. <laughs> Send help, please. Okay. I've got an Amazon shop where nearly everything I've used today is listed from the resin dyes, alcohol inks, mica powders, glitters, even the resin and the silicone. Um, you don't have to make your own molds for this to be successful. You can do plenty of the uh, molds that you can get off of Timu or Amazon or that's what this one is. Little mermaid tail, same stones, same little cup, same fits a phone stand. I mean a phone. Huh? <laughs> ah, goodness. Same thing. All the glitters, mica powders, all of that is listed on my Amazon shop. Um. 
not sure about those weird iridescent alcohol um, resin dyes. I'll have to check and see on those. Anyway. Hey. Now, I still need to put a little bit of resin down here at the bottom that will just help everything um, glue in all in one piece without the glue strings, if you please. Oh, okay. I'll get them later. Um, I've opened up a... <clears throat> I've opened up a new Facebook page and a new Instagram page. I did add both the links in the description box below. Um, I, I lost the previous two when Facebook shut them down when I got my channel stolen. I got my channel back, didn't get those back. I've opened up a super thanks button below the video I've opened up a buy me a coffee link in the description box as well as an Amazon wish list if any of that interests you this is what we did today minus the extra cup I, I'll do something else with that this is so adorable so adorable and then if you make something like this to go with it <coughs> instant success these are these are the things people talk about when they say don't just do your average pour do something like this offer little trinkets to go with it anything you can do to bump up the interest okay more than just a candle holder, it's a candle holder we decorated on. Okay. I used the leftover resin from this pour to pour this pour. So sweet. So sweet. Alright. Thank y'all so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. If I didn't say so earlier, I hope y'all had a wonderful day. And I've really enjoyed this video. Thank y'all so much for watching. Bye for now.